name is Erin and I'm really happy uh, to spend some time with you. We'll spend an hour today and in that hour, um, the objectives are just behind the sun here. I'm hoping that in the next hour, uh, we can do the following. So identify any barriers or challenges with getting involved with the Halton District School Board and that's gonna come from the people in the room. Um, I'm hoping I can answer any of your questions um, about the Halton District School Board in any capacity and that everyone leaves with one new idea, um, a new understanding, and a new resource. So we have lots of resources for you today. Um, so those are our objectives in an hour, and um, really important that today is guided by who's in the room. So I have many different resources and presentations I can pull from, but I wanna make this time very relevant to you. It's your Saturday, it's probably been a busy week, and you have given your time to be here today, so I wanna honor that by making this about what you need and how I can help you. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about my role so you know how I can help you. But before we do that, um, very important to me, um, so you are in the Arrive and Thrive workshop, um, that we honor the land and territory that we're on today. And I know the chair um, downstairs mentioned this. I'm just gonna read this statement. This is actually um, a statement that was created by some um, el community elders um, in partnership with the Halton District School Board. Um, so I'm gonna just start with this today to ground us in our work. So Halton, as we know it today, is rich in history and modern traditions of many First Nations and the Métis, from the Anishinaabe to the Ottawa Aram, the Haudenosaunee and the Métis, the lands surrounding the Great Lakes are steeped in Indigenous history. As we gather today on these treaty lands, we have the responsibility to honour and respect the four directions, land, waters, plants, animals, ancestors that walked before us, and all the wonderful elements of creation that exist. We would like to acknowledge and thank the Mississaugas of the New Credit First Nation for sharing their traditional territory with us. Very important way to start our gathering uh, and our learning today. So, um, who am I? Like I said, my name is Erin Walsh. Um, I have the honor of working with the Halton District School Board. Um, and my current role is as program lead for youth settlement. So I'm involved with uh, meeting our new students and their families and helping to ensure that their transition into the school is a positive one uh, and continuing to work with students in that capacity and with staff. I also coordinate our Welcome Center, the HDSB Welcome Center. Has anyone had the opportunity to visit there or to register? Were you there? To, did you register um, as a family or did you visit? I vi uh, visited to register both my son and okay. the students I recruited for Houghton District School. Wonderful. Okay, yeah. so you've been there. Anyone else has been there? Yeah. yeah. So our Welcome Center is uh, just one year old and um, we welcome any family, mostly families coming from out of country, um, but also uh, people with different status. And that's the first stop for families to the Halton District School Board um, for registration, assessment, and uh, community connections. So that's my other role. And of course, I'm a teacher. So I've spent eight years teaching grades seven and eight. So if you have any questions today specific to classrooms, uh, I can absolutely uh, do my best to answer those as well from a classroom teacher's perspective. Picture up there today, I just wanted to start with a little story that I think um, is relevant to what we'll be talking about. So uh, this lady here, uh, this is Teva, and she also works at the Welcome Center. And this past week we had a very beautiful moment at the Welcome Center. Uh, a, a new family came in, a family from Pakistan, and Teva thought to herself, I recognize the mother, I recognize her from somewhere. And she kind of thought about it and was busy getting the paperwork ready. And the mother said, I recognize you. And they had a moment, and she said, you're Tayaba. So it turns out that these two, 20 years ago, were uh, classmates in college together in Pakistan. And now 20 years later, um, she has brought her family here, and her old friend was registering uh, her, her children. So a really beautiful moment, uh, reminded all of us at the Welcome Center uh, what a small world it is and how connected we all are. And again, just made me feel so honored to get to work with families as they're new um, to our region, especially honoring their journeys, their stories, their experiences, um, and ensuring that our schools do the same um, and honor and, and value what everyone is bringing to our community. In terms of uh, seeing an opportunity, so 
From August 22nd this year, when our Welcome Center opened, we have welcomed 713 new students from outside of Canada. So just to get an idea of the, the numbers that our board is welcoming and what a great opportunity that is. It's also important, your feedback today, to give us a check. As a board, are we doing the right things to welcome these families? What are some gaps? What are some things that maybe could help that process be better? Um, so really important today that your voices are heard because I'm able to take your voices and your comments and suggestions back to the board level and say, hey, we need to work on this or this family didn't experience this in the way that they should have. So today is really about a back and forth. I can share information that you're looking for and I really hope that you can share things to help improve our practice. Um, the number is 713, actually it's 715 now because we had a new family come on Friday um, and that doesn't capture families who may have moved um, first to Toronto or Peel or York and then have come to Halton. Um, that's just, uh, doesn't capture those numbers. So we have a great opportunity and a great responsibility as a school board um, to do these conversations. And today really will be, I'm um, calling it like a round table discussion. It really will be um, about uh, going back and forth in terms of our sharing. <clears throat> so in order to do that and to know which direction to take this next hour, uh, it's important to honor who's in the room. So I'm gonna ask you in a minute um, to join me in a small activity that will help to introduce who's in the room. So you'll see there's some images on the floor here. So in a minute, I'll get people to just join here walk around and, and choose an image that you're drawn to in whatever reason. It might be how you're feeling today, it might be an experience you've had or something about yourself. So I ask that you take the image when you find one um, and then we'll head back to our spots. And then we're gonna do some sharing if you're comfortable. Um, your name, why you chose the image that you chose, um, your role and or schools that you're connected to. Um, so that just helps us know who's in the room. And then why you're here today, in general, for the conference, and maybe uh, here in this workshop, what are you hoping um, to get out of today? Any questions about that? So if you don't mind getting up, and we'll look for an image. Sorry. And this is all artwork by um, Helton students. I should also mention I've left sticky notes around. If a question comes to mind and you don't want to forget it, you can jot it down and then we'll make sure we, we answer that as well. Okay. So, uh, do we have anyone that doesn't mind starting with, with the sharing for today? Yeah, thank you. My name is Maria. And uh, I have a son, he's 70 years old, in Burlington Central High School. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I chose this song, mm -hmm. the piece, because it's my core philosophy of life. And that's why I'm here in Canada. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. And I, if I write some things down, it's just because I want to remember who's in the room and then how I can help it. So great, so you said your son is great. Grade 12. Grade 12. Yes. Okay. And do you want to go around the circle? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Nasri. Uh, I'm Mariam's friends. My children are grown up. But uh, uh, since I work with parents, that's why I'm here to learn um, something that I don't know. And I choose this. Uh, because we can make the world uh, better, uh, be uh, the, uh, the things that uh, spoke today, and uh, maybe all the people 
are different flowers and if we uh, we want we can make them more like the flowers. Thank you. Nasri, excuse me. Yeah. And Nasri, in what capacity you mentioned you work with parents? Yeah. Um, in what way? Uh, like? mm, mm, I'm Iranian and uh, there are many parents that uh, maybe they uh, need to, mm, to have a class uh, and learn something about their children uh, mm -hmm. and uh, in our own language. Right. And uh, we mm, we communicate with them and we gather them, me and Mariam. And okay. uh, we, because we, in back home, we did that. And that's why now we, mm, mm, something like coaching them mm -hmm. how to behave with their children. Wonderful. And do you do that in like a formal way or uh, informal? You meet with parents and... Uh, we started in in formal way, mm -hmm. but uh, now we have a, a group, like a class, every uh, um, one week, uh, one day a week, yes. we gather in, uh, in one of the play card uh, room. Oh, yeah. And and uh, well, last right oh, yeah okay. and last uh, session we we were in HMC. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Sorry for all the questions. It just really helps to know how um, we can yeah. connect today. Thank you. Hello, my name is Sharon. I came from Taiwan, and I just came to Canada three months and a half. Oh, wow. oh welcome. Yes, yes. and um, I like. I choose this one is because I think I'm like the hungry caterpillar <laughs> because I must learn many things about myself, about this country, and about my children's education. So I hope I really can like the caterpillar can eat, eat, eat a lot. <laughs> and, uh, finally, I can become a beautiful butterfly, and uh, my children, my family also can become a beautiful butterfly. That's why I choose this one. Mm -hmm. And uh, just I, I have the four children and the one already high school in the Central Burlington. Okay. Yeah, and 17 years old. And I still have the three youngs. One is the 11 and one is the eight and the one is six years old in the Eastview school. Okay. So I think my education Education, the border children education is a very wide area. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think I need to learn more about them. And uh, especially, I have uh, one one kid, and he has uh, ADHD. Okay. But he has, uh, I think, he is a very mag magical music and uh, mm. about the sky. How do you call it? Astronomy. Astronomy. Mm. So interesting. I don't know how to develop her or him. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I hope I can learn more about this and, uh, and from uh, this new new way learn here. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm Jonathan. Um, obviously, you know about my children already. So, um, and um, we chose this one basically because of the two. Um, I spend more than half of my life outside of Canada, so um, leave me sort of. So I feel much more interna international, and even when in university, we try to do. Um, we set up um, a, ho a house dormitory, which we have one person from many different countries living living together to try to get understand more international. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Karina. Uh, I chose this picture because I really feel that I'm a global citizen. I grew up in Uganda uh, during the Idi Amin era and then went to India, uh, then finished my high school and university in England, worked in Wall Street for 20, for 20 years and got married and have my children here. Um, so I, I do not believe that I belong to one country or one continent. I really do feel like I'm a global citizen and I always believe that the best, like each country has a lot that is special about it. And so when people ask me what is 
what do you like and what do you not like. I always say there's always something good from each place that I've lived in. Um, I have three children. Uh, my older two are already in university, and my youngest is in 11th grade at OT, uh, Oakville Trafalgar. Uh, I'm actually here for a different reason because as my children are growing up, I'm actually creating programs. Um, what I did for a living before was very much strategic planning and focused on finance products, so it's future of payments. And because I do that, I started looking at the future of work. And because I have three teenagers, it became very important to me to decide what kind of skills I can encourage my children to have that would give them careers that wouldn't end within five years of them graduating. I want them to have skill sets that they can use for at least 10 to 15 years. They will have three or four careers in their lifetime, that's a given. So what I'm here to do is actually to see from, from my various backgrounds, and mm -hmm. the reason I'm sitting in this particular workshop is I've been a refugee, I was a Ugandan refugee, I've been an immigrant parent, I brought my kids here, I did all the wrong things with recommending universities to my eldest child, I've learnt, I made it better with the second, and I hopefully will make it better with the third, <laughs> so I'm hoping that um, I can actually give back. Um, so I'm actually developing, I'm actually very interested in what you're doing because that's what I'm trying to do is create programs but more from a way of expanding the thinking so that people don't come in as parents and say this is the only way you can do something for a child but because the world is changing so significantly actually expanding their thinking have you thought of allowing your child to do what you want them to do but also let them do something different because maybe that is where their opportunity will be mm -hmm. 10 years from now so Wonderful. that's my intent. Oh, thank you yeah. for being here. My yeah. pleasure. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Chelsea. Um, I'm involved in like education field in the last uh, 20 years before I moved to Canada. So I chose this picture because uh, uh, in the past 20 years, uh, I, I always like deal with schools, community, parents, students, and all, so that's why I'm here. Also, I have a son, um, he studies at OT, Okawa Trafalgar High School, in grade 11. So I'm really like pay much attention to his success in the school, uh, his future, like uh, future life. So that's why I'm here. So I'm, I, I feel so glad that I have like uh, s three friends. <laughs> At the same time, I, I, I'm, I'm happy to like meet uh, friends here. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. Thank you. I, uh, I, I, I'm Sun, as you are. I'm from China, Beijing. Uh, this is the second year, second month I'm being the China Canada. Uh, my English is not, <laughs> not very good, but every, 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 every parent is better than me. But uh, uh, I, I choose this because this is, is name means the winter and the, the spring, and it's good for the environment. And uh, <coughs> as people are more the, uh, it's different from the, different from the, the China's environment. Mm. I I have two boys. One is eleven, and another is twelve. They are uh, they are not, they are in eleven a uh, prime uh, school, but uh, uh, the English is better than me. Um, uh, that is why we uh, from China to the Canada is reason uh, most for the language learning. And uh, then I want uh, my children um, have more creative the uh, imagine because the in China the homework is hard and uh, they have less less time to play with others uh, uh, like this these days the group the group um, the Chinese family Chinese parents is less less and uh, I want the more uh, chance. More chance to join these groups and uh, in, in connected the, the, the my uh, ideas with other parents and for uh, that this is uh, another reason for to the Czech Canada. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Uh, 
it's amazing who is in the room and I believe that um, in things like this whoever is here is who's meant to be here so there's a reason that we are all here today um, and, and to connect with each other so um, what we're going to move into is a uh, a roundtable discussion. I think before we do that, we're actually going to break into two small groups to generate some of the discussion topics for today. Um, our objectives will be set by the group. I've already outlined some hopeful objectives in general, but you will now outline um, more specifically what you want to discuss. Um, the connection that we are creating today, um, it's hope that we're open, honest, and respectful in our discussions. Um, our collaboration will be that we honor all voices, so everyone is given an equal opportunity for, for sharing. Um, and success coming out of this, or positive change, uh, we won't know that from, from being in this room, but hopefully when we leave this space and go back to the other spaces we're in, we will be able to affect some positive change. So I think it would make sense um, if we break into, like I said, two smaller groups first. And I'm gonna ask that in the groups, if you can discuss sort of the first two that are on the board there. So any barriers or challenges um, that you've seen from your perspectives in terms of um, anything to do with being involved um, with the school board. So any barriers or challenges to involvement or any barriers or challenges in general um, for maybe a newcomer family. And, and I, I define that loosely, um, not just you know, within a few months, but within several years of arriving, any barriers or challenges you've seen? And then if you could, the second question to discuss is, what questions do you have about the school board um, that I could help answer today? So it might be um, really specific questions about curriculum or about um, the welcoming process, or it might be more general. As a board, how, what are our strategies for welcoming the numbers of new families that we're welcoming? So. Um, First thing is barriers or challenges. Second thing, any questions you have. And then we'll come back to a full group and I think we'll tighten up our circle and we'll unpack those together, okay? So do you think we could maybe do, do you three if you want it, young, or son, if you come this way, then you three could be a group here. And then you two want to come this way, we'll put some chairs in on the inside here and you can have a small discussion. You can stay there, they can come here. And then, and if you don't mind um, jotting the, the what you're talking about, just a uh, point form on the sticky notes, I'll gather them so I have something to bring back to inform uh, our board practice as well. <laughs> We'll do about eight minutes on the clock. What the deadline? Eight minutes. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh nice. nice. Very nice. Nice. Yeah. 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 Basically, the, the, the main barrier that we have reached out for the board, yeah. board policies, we spent um, four months working getting permission for our understudy to attend school. We have to go to court. To get when we're not staying home, we get along. I always want to translate. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so we had trouble well, to get some. Yeah. 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 So that was, uh, that was the major yeah. difficulty. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason they said it was because of the 
Oh, don't miss for me. I don't know. Like, this is, this is my name. So, 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 so for our, our younger children, yeah. don't, so don't, 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 don't uh, <laughs> I, believe, so, I know other languages. So, at least they let her attend school in court. Yeah. Yeah. So, don't well, don't 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 court me. getting permission for her. No, don't. I envy you because you know, you're a very bad time. Legal intervention is one of the biggest kind of issue. So, for us, both of you are the one to offer in this discussion. But I think that may be quite any relative. Any, yeah, any challenges or barriers you that you see or that you've found? To, um, actually, maybe okay. not so, unique, because um, obviously they had it. Yeah, so it's more to unique to people from us from China, so coming well, out of China area. Mm -hmm. So yes, other people coming from China area. So, so but that would probably be one real the, barrier we have. Yeah, we yeah have before we they are placed in mm -hmm. a certain kind of school, they, they are the students are tested on their levels, oh, yeah. uh, and all these uh, and test experts, the other was the top for younger children, the time delay between very registration thank you here for that and, and way. being allowed and very, like, being able to get bus service to get bus to the school. Fair, so it takes about two or, three, two, two or three weeks for, the, for our children to get on so this is bus very good. to get registered on the bus route, even though the bus is stopped is, in front yeah, of the house, a year mm -hmm. picking up our children yeah. Yeah. Yes. to get so there, our children so on good. the bus and also to go about the food.
Yeah. It's yeah. almost yeah. one and a half year. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Well, actually, we are parenting coach. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, because uh, I know that my what, what my son can do it if he wants from to. From Tehran. Oh, Tehran. Okay. Yeah. Do you know it's that? A, yeah. It's yeah. not yeah, we, part of the school, so you can actually do it even outside had, um, the school. You just got to hook up with the right group. When I was running I talked to the principal about it, and I talked to the counselor. He said we can transfer that to his school mistake here. And he was part of it. He had established a lot of points, a lot of, um, uh, uh, the other was, um, silver, and uh, etc. Yeah, they stopped. go through certain yeah. levels, and they, have, they go to care, and yeah. you, you pay for the care, it's expensive, in, but you in, pay for yeah. so that, but it's something that, before you fled, you have so much of so right, yeah, right, it's a really good idea. It's fantastic. I was just going to get to get it very well. No, 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 no. What happens when you're continuing on with certain programs, and you have more headphones and offers, but Initiation to the radium. I to get that So we saw how we hate teachers. Right. So we have to communicate We'll have that certificate, and that's all I wanted. And this international program is internationally recognized. So it's run by the Duke of Edinburgh and the Queen's husband. It started it. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. And then that's why um, the development okay. can, so he comes, country can control. I think the certain time they come yeah. in and use yeah. that certificate yeah. of the institution. Yeah, we think it should be a blessing, but maybe it's okay. not. It's not yeah. really a blessing. Um, some of you, uh, with, with the kids in the school, the school now, have there been any challenges yeah. or barriers that you have found? Uh, yeah. 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 The parents and the challenges. Most yeah. of the thing they focus on the language. I think you have and, okay. and the, the more things. Not only the hearing is okay. More than us. Yes. <laughs> 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 I think the main thing is difficult. Okay. For your child or for you? But for my child. Yeah. For reading. My okay. My, so child, my little boy is, is, is different. Mm -hmm. and my son. Language. Uh, Language. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's just our warning time. Let's take two more minutes. <laughs> Yeah. Because it was when we were in so the reading, um, no, we the reading went to right, the, right, 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 right,
like yeah. the different courses, courses, courses and say, you know, 98, 97, 98. Uh, actually, I didn't. It is. Yeah. Are, I chose, like, uh, why would you get the spot in the sense? No, no, I'm still struggling with that. Right. So my recommendations to my children were based on my okay. experience. Mm -hmm. And so to we me, are one of the biggest oh, um, oh, this thing oh, that I, okay. I want to and incorporate into the high school to is making the <coughs> ninth and 10th grade parents attend the university. And at first I didn't want Because they're already helping them with their children to pick courses that are something. And the things that I've heard at the university, even though my son is saying, it mm. to me and my son in 10th grade saying mom you don't understand mom I'm like mm, mom, <coughs> but I've heard something yeah. 14, 14, 14, 14, 14. No. but, but when I went and yeah. people said to you like yes. um, for us yeah. she like mm. said 50% yeah. of the mark will be based on your right. next year will be the last class 50% of our acceptance will be based on mark 50% of extracurricular that was like a boom straight in my face so I did how to close it yeah so I'm encouraging that our um, newcomer parents yeah. will students are going to attend small school. to attend the info. And I yeah. had to say that yeah. 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 I'm happy she she to create them, send them, create a program and for you, and, you and, and, and the right so that they're the right information, right. because it might yeah. be very different than And they don't have to send it they can attend as parents so that they have knowledge. And so like, you know, for a first parent, like your elder child, right, nine, great, ten, that's my recommendation, you will learn so much more, especially and my husband grew up in this country. I was just going to say, yeah, it's changed. It's changed. So even since that, after that, I was at universities and colleges are changing the acceptance as well. So you have to stay current. So PSCs are now becoming like during her across. So like even all the engineering schools asking for PSCs. They say you can come in with a 1999. We will not. Oh, that's great. Oh, the parents. No, the parents. the same school as your. I see. Yeah, so some of the first class to personal the statements of excellence. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it'll say, you know, okay. what quality yeah. like work have you done. Um, so it's like all about yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. what they yeah. want. Yeah. So and they don't know that. Right. Right. No. Yeah. And also, how does that affect someone who's been so learning don't have it, English? They can't offer um, enough as yeah. many lectures. the marks are really high for the subject areas, but how does that affect that student who's still working on their proficiency in English? Right. No, but then they'll build. But then we can work with Exactly. If you like know that, if you know that, then the parent has tools. Okay. So that's that why we can work with. So they I found that that was the best. They can revise the parent program. The kids and the parents the program. Why they close this one. At that particular they time, can change it's so important they want to that the parents get involved because this that, reason. that time that's the is when you want to prepare the kids for their career, for their life. And having that knowledge is very With so few students, it's hard. It won't be enough students per class if they add additional classes. And the resources, you know, so what, what is going on in the system? And then you're lost, and it's all about like academic, 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 um, academic, or like my school, my daughter has to be right. It's all about that. It is all about academics. So when you come to those different countries, you want to take the list. So great night, I think every person. My daughter doesn't mind taking it. Yes, one yeah. sure. And yeah. to have yeah. interpreters there so yeah. that, to ensure that parents are able to access okay. all that exactly. information. Exactly. So, uh, and then they're connected right away. Okay. You were going to say something. Yeah, yeah I, I have the same problem. That's why the Nelson High School yeah. has it. And also, I, I found it is really high ranking. Like, yeah. uh, parents high ranking. should be given more opportunity to be connected with the like that's what I teach you to say something mm -hmm. well, yeah, they do I think at least it, or maybe you're not feeling it but yeah in terms of getting uh, some time like to meet with the they teacher yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Like, like, it's it's or like this one it's so hard this like thing? to make a they can't offer the because mm. there's not there would be enough students the, um, to send the to want to take that class they are busy with um, their teachers they have that like they only offer like one year I don't know but that's a lot it's so tiny it's so tiny and I'm also heard that you have to more like they have to run around and get yeah other people are only and, and, the, and the teachers are over. And right, I remember so the two classes. I always think the other side. Yeah, yeah, yes. Right, because I'm a nurse. So, so you know. 
you have so to I just one line. Yeah, I like to look at both sides. Yeah. They, they, they always say well. yeah. like, the amount of work they have to do like eight exactly. hours they finish they want to go home to their families they're exhausted it's just 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 the slot in the teachers and give them time off somewhere class, like where they, they, they can do that. They can just spend time with the math. Yeah, class. yeah. But you're right, the communication is very important, yeah. especially for families that might be new and, and wanting to ask questions about the curriculum or how their child is doing. Yeah. How do we create more it's opportunities for that feedback? Uh, maybe even prioritize people who are newer to the system needs. because yeah. it's um, they going haven't been able to have those conversations and also the confusion of students. Yeah. Yeah. It's the confusion. If they I have a okay. no, 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 all the new parents who are the newcomers. different yeah. courses, yeah. Mm -hmm. it means should why they even should have like, uh, these courses. Um, and for mental, example, for your daughter, oh, for the from, yeah. she can the local go on, go on so the so she's quite happy they with can she get yeah. she more information. Yeah, yeah. 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 so you yeah. can use the community power, use the community power. Wow. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And I mean, as I said, if a teacher can't physically, with the restraints, who else can offer that information? Parents who have been in the for a long time. And also students, local students who are newcomers, they should be given. Yeah. Friends. Yes. Yeah. Like a very multicultural. Yeah. 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 Three yeah. students. Yeah. So yeah. you will wow. feel much Maybe more comfortable. Yeah. So yeah. this yeah. should yeah. be a yeah. system. Yeah. Yeah. Or regulation. Or wow. Yeah. Yeah. Team yeah. Well, no, the teacher regulation. Yeah. 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 For the students as well. For the students. Yeah. 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 Or families. Yeah. Or it, should, or it should be it's a different multicultural uh, yeah. or connected with the system with the teachers right. yeah. the well, teachers just, can't do yeah. it so if you need the teacher mm -hmm. because the government mm -hmm. like the teacher go they have to do this yeah. amount of hours yeah. right. then like what she said, having that connection with different people. What were you working at? Yeah. Yeah. No background. Yeah. Yeah. Teaming up in the system, working marriage, and helping. Yeah. Yeah. To yeah. to yeah. 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 And I know you're getting back. I'm yeah. just going to check in with this group, yeah. and then we're going to pull back at yeah. yeah. So yeah. Yeah. any person who involved with the kids, so so the the kids. Kids. Oh, yeah. really should be given a certain of time how to treat them, getting involved with the parents. Do we go over here? Yeah, and there's so much to talk about. I think time is much going by. So I was thinking we'd just pull back to a full group and just debrief some of the things and some of the questions and then now and get some resources. Our time's open. Very small. Very small. Thank you. 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 Thank
where they can turn to another uh, other parents in the community that have been there for longer um, to get some of these pieces of information so setting up a mentorship program and also for students so um, some schools have have groups and clubs where they're doing that but not all not all schools so maybe setting something up more formally as a school board where we're ensuring those students have someone to, to help them out at the beginning. One thing I thought of, I wanted to pass on to the group um, for you to know that you're right to have an interpreter at any meeting um, that you have at the school. The school should know to book it, the ESL teacher or the classroom teacher, um, but if that does, sometimes they might not be aware that that's needed. So ensure that you know you have the right to say, um, to ask in any form to, to have an interpreter present and it's it's really great even even if you know if you, you have an understanding of English sometimes those discussions with school teams um, can get very wordy so please know that there's interpreters available that the school can book and I can help book those as well um, but you want to make sure and, and spread that word to other families you know that absolutely for school meetings to have you can have an interpreter there um, that was the main points we discussed. Can this group share a bit about what you discussed? Mm -hmm. Challenges or questions? Okay. okay. Just to let everybody know, this is a 10 minute warning. <laughs> 10 minutes yeah. remaining in session A. Thank you. Okay. Okay, first one po positive comment. Yeah. We just um, heard one, one lady, lady's son and my daughter are in Central and we just found the, the advantage of a small school in making the um, integration mm -hmm. was quite um, a positive experience being okay. at Burlington Central. So um, we found that to be a very positive as transition. Compared to transition as compared to being a larger school. Okay. Because my, yeah, my, when we first came here, my daughter looked at Blake, Blake Lock, which is close, and she was scared. Is it because scary? it's so huge. Okay. Um, but she find Central is much more, she felt very comfortable there. Good. Um, Thank you for that. Second, um, the other challenge that we had is um, our family, but maybe it's maybe unique, right? and I think you guys probably already know about it, um, the legal problems of trying to get our daughter into the Halton school system and trying to get, so that was a very frustrating, but we are thankful that they let her attend what the legal proceedings okay. go through. Yes. Uh, that was a, that we think was, those are sort of a barriers in moving between schools, these mm -hmm. legal issues. Okay. That was about all. That was yeah, the, the main things. Anything else that came up in here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my son is in grade 12 and we don't have any issues. Maybe I was thinking about when you don't have any question or issues, it has two reasons. One is you know everything completely and you don't know anything. <laughs> yes. Yes. We are here. <laughs> yes. yes. I am in between <laughs> because I'm newcomer. It's just one and a half year we are here. Okay. And the first year we are spending the uh, to adapting mm -hmm. new yeah. thing, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And that's why. I don't know. I don't have any. Yeah. Issues. Sometimes you don't know what you don't know if you're new to something. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I have a bit of insight from both sides. So yes. As a refugee child, I was the eldest of six kids mm -hmm. when I was 15 making my decisions. And I came from an intelligent family and an educated family. My father was a school principal. So it wasn't the case that we didn't have the information in the room. It's just that my two parents were working two jobs each because they had to put food on the table for six kids. So very much like your case where you're so busy adapting that you don't have the time mm. to make these really high level decisions with your child. So I think we need to be very aware of that with our children and, and I think the schools have to be able to give those kids a little extra help because even though they may have the support system at home, it may not have the attention that they need for this particular for this. focus. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I was thinking, coming up Chelsea's um, comment, because this is something we're working with our young son on, is actually the biggest part of integrating in a new system is actually the cultural integration. Mm -hmm. So whereas Halton District is very focused on the education part, really, uh, so what my son is working on is trying to work with the with um, the refugee families 
and I was saying to him to create a club in the school where you pair up the, the students with each other because learning is one thing, teaching a child how to read mm -hmm. and speak English is one thing, but having them go to ice skating with your friends, having them mm -hmm. learn how to do, you know, um, the things that children do together. Yes. That is really what gets them to become part of the culture yes. and the neighborhood, even like one community to another. Yeah. So I would actually say, especially, and I think it's more difficult in high school, yes. is, is yeah. getting them to do the extracurriculars is what is going to get them more connected. Yeah. Right? The less that they do with friends, actually the more insular they become, the more right. the mental health pieces then, right? Yeah. So how are yeah. they feeling about what they're yeah. So that, yeah. that there may be something in there that we can work on and create. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you're right. You know, because when we were in Iran, we are actually a kind of social activist. And all of our life was spending in these activities. And my son got used to these kind of activities. When we came here, I es expected him to be involved with the community in the school, actually, because yeah. it's the first opportunity for him to <coughs> get involved. But he didn't do any specific thing, and I asking him every day, do you have any activities in your school which you want to attend sure. and do something? And he said, no, we don't have Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's mm -hmm. difficult because yeah. Yeah. also, mm -hmm. so this is me. It's my goal, you know, yeah. it's mm -hmm. my, right. right. So I left Uganda when I was in mm -hmm. elementary school and went to a different school in India, mm -hmm. which was now middle school, and then I moved to England at the time they were doing the old levels, and each time you're coming into a group which has been together since kindergarten. Mm -hmm. And so my sister, who's 10 years younger than me, at her wedding, she had all her kindergarten friends. I had nobody at my right. wedding, right? Right. So it's it's very different, um, and that's, I think it's very important to realize that the child is coming in, is breaking into a group, and no matter how much the the group that's receiving them thinks that they're being welcoming, mm -hmm. it is a very different. Like they have a language, they even a look at each other. Yeah that has been yes. with them since they since were in second grade or third yeah. grade yeah. and this person has to learn that language it's not even a verbal yeah. language it's a it's a community language yeah. and we have to figure out ways to get those kids to to incorporate so i'm thinking of the involvement piece is so so important so um hopefully the teachers that are running the activities are trying to reach out to connect with um, with students but also if you want to know what's going on what's available um there are opportunities if you look on the school website they should be listing all the different clubs and teams mm -hmm. and even often it's a link to a calendar when they meet so you could say hey i noticed that there's this on this day you know and from yeah. home to give those messages but it should be both the school also reaching out to each <coughs> kid what are you involved in mm -hmm. and also um, i think some schools have uh, put announcements on facebook yes and social media i want to just really quickly um before we have to go oh i want to give you some resources and ensure all these pieces. So it sounds like most people in the room are familiar, but who you can turn to in school, your administrators, guidance counselors in the high school, um, your ESL teachers. So every school will have access to an ESL teacher, whether they're there full time or they might be at multiple schools, but that's a resource person for you. Um, a special education team, High schools have social Session workers. A has now been ended. Please Ooh. make your way to workshop B, which will be starting at 1135. <laughs> Thank you. Social workers or in elementary school, um, CYC, child and youth counselors. These are all extra people to provide support. Mm -hmm.